My name is Vahid Chitza, as part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Hi, my name is Allison Quackenbush. I'm from Middletown, New York, and I am an integrated nutrition health coach. Awesome. How are you guys holding up in New York? We're, do we're doing well here in my house. Definitely. So unfortunately, yeah. not for everybody, yeah. but my house yeah. is and healthy. Everybody needs to stay. So my one of my first questions for you and a lot of the coaches out there, doesn't matter what type of coach they are, what is mindset? How can you, if somebody is brand new to self-development, that was one of the questions I had for like three or four years. I was like, what is a mindset? Like, how do we do that? Like, you know, the, 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 the vocabulary used was tripping me up. So how, how would you explain that to somebody who doesn't know nothing about self-development? Um, how I would do it is, um, well, people usually come to me because they want to lose weight or they have no energy and they don't have... Um, they don't have an answer to what they're looking for. And I usually explain it like this. I usually say, well, what have you been doing? And how have you been thinking about it? And they'll usually tell me. And then I'm like, okay, so we need to change that mindset. We need to look at it a different way. We need to open up your mind to new concepts and solutions. And when I say it like that, they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I get a little deeper and ask them a whole bunch of questions about how they used to think about things, what they think about what certain um, aspects of their life. And we go on from there, but it's, it's pretty much, what have you been doing? How have you been thinking about it? Has it been working for you? And well, usually think, the well, answer is... Well, that's cool. That's cool. That's a, that's a good way of looking at it. But how would I know it's been working out for me or not? Well, if you're not feeling good about where you are in your life, if you're feeling like you're stuck, there's more for life. Um, so it doesn't mean that your, your, your husband came and said you gained some weight or your couple of your girlfriends said you gained some weight and you know that it's not working out because that's their opinion. Yeah, that's totally their opinion. And usually people that come that um, want help like that, that usually doesn't work because they're not ready. They just want to lose weight quick. They want to feel better quicker and they want an instant gratification like a magic pill. And it, that doesn't work that way. So you don't have a magic pill for losing weight? Man, no. I was hoping for that this morning. I was like, she's... <laughs> Allison is the solution to all my prayers. That's it. Let me get that pill. Yeah, there but is no if there was pill. a pill, how much would you pay for that pill? If there was a pill for you to get a respond or not, not an instant, you can't lose weight in a day. You know, we won't get into the biology of it. But let's say there was a pill that you could take and it will give you results in 14 days. 14 days, you lose 20 pounds, one pill. Or one pill a day, something like that. Pharmaceutical companies are never going to come up with one pill that fixes one time. It's got to be daily doses so they can make more money. But anyway, we won't get into that. But if there was a pill, Austin, how much could you sell that for? Probably $5,000 a pill. <laughs> really? Are you serious? For five, You pay me $5,000, I'll get on the treadmill and I lose the weight. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it, it, my journey personally started with my mindset. Like, I didn't actively start looking to lose weight until I was well into my journey. I started, I, I was introduced to the laws of, of attraction 12, 13 years ago. And it took me, because I'm stubborn, thick-headed, and had such a closed mind about my world, that it took me a very long time to get to where I knew I needed to do something to change in my body. I needed to get healthy. So for me, it started with my mindset. For a lot of people, it starts with what's on their plate. So for me, it to help people, I have to meet them where they're at. If it's what's on their plate, then we'll start with that. But everything happens with changing habits. And how do you change habits? You have to change the way you think about that particular habit. And so it's connected. The mind, the gut, everything's connected. And true health and true transformation starts with the mind and with the gut. 
So I work with both. Okay. And you don't involve their wives or husbands in that process? Um, well, I work with them. Because what happens to me is my wife's control. My wife controls that. So when you say body, gut, I'm like, where's the wife? You got to bring that in there because I, I don't do stuff without her approval. So you, you might want to rethink that program. <laughs> Maybe the guys are too chicken and too ashamed of saying that, you know, publicly to you saying that, you know, can I check with my wife and then get back to you on that? So how do you involve that? Because I believe if, if your partner is not in it, because I've done this with my wife where we go on, you know, diet or do this, this is, but I know if we're both not on the same page, you know, if I say, let's go get this food, but then that is not part of her diet, I'm feeling guilty. Now I feel stupid for saying that because I wasn't thinking. So now, you know, it's just causes other things. So how important is it for the household? Oh, well, this is how I view it because my household wasn't a part of and willing to be a part of what I was doing. So I had to take a stance and say, this is how I'm eating. So I would have my meals and they would have their meals. And I have to say that once I was doing it for a long time and I was feeling better and I was not so cranky anymore and I was actually starting to lose weight, little by little, year after year, they're slowly coming. My husband never ate a green vegetable until two years ago and we've been together for over five years. So it really has to do with the individual. It starts with yourself. In order to change, you have to change yourself. And if the person truly loves you and is supportive of you, they're going to allow that to happen. They're not going to I want to interview your husband. I want to know how he was how he was able to defy you in the house. I want to know how you guys live in New York and you said eat your vegetable and he did not. I want I want to interview him. That is a very very important interview. I, told him I know there's so many guys that need to learn that. <laughs> There's so many guys that are going to get coaching from that powerful man. He's a superhero to us. We need to interview him. <laughs> he, he, I never asked him to eat a vegetable. I never forced him to eat the way I eat. He still doesn't eat 100% the way I eat, which is totally fine with me. Because I don't judge. I don't judge. Like that's, I love him for who he is. He loves me for who I am. I think he'd be afraid if I stopped eating the way I did. Because then he would be afraid of how nasty I would get. Because. You know, food hangovers suck. <laughs> Just saying. True, true, <laughs> They're true, kind true. of worse than alcohol hangovers. <laughs> so if I want to do a small steps, if I'm going, if I'm a business owner and I'm an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and most of them do have busy schedule, most of them are getting their business going and they're in the phase of building. So they're not like, everybody's not a CEO where they could sit back, have all the luxury time of eating right. the most amazing food, have somebody prepare for them, do this, get your one an hour, two hours in the gym. So not everybody has that yet. They're working towards having that luxury of being able to have that. What are a couple of steps, two, three recommendations from you that we could implement easily that will give us that starting point? The starting point of um, eating healthier? Eating healthy and feeding your body because if your body is not healthy, who gives a shit about your business? Exactly. I 100% agree. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a heart attack, you're, 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 you're in the hospital. It doesn't matter if you got a billion dollars. And this is what I've been telling. I was telling my wife the other day. I said, no matter how much money you got, if COVID-19 is after you and you get it, there is so much that your money is going to do. You can only be connected to one ventilator in the hospital. Right. I don't care if you're a multi-billionaire or you're a homeless guy. Exactly. You know, as long as you got coverage and you showed up to the ER, the the level of care you're going to get, yeah, you can get private doctors, this, 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 but you're connected to one ventilator. Exactly. You're going to get the same medicine that everybody else gets, right? So it doesn't matter how much money you got. At that point, it doesn't mean that, oh, this guy's got 100000 Oh, but this guy's a multi-billionaire. Your body, your body is the one who's fighting it, not your money. Exactly. Um what it comes down to your health is your wealth without that you have nothing i believe that with all my heart and soul and um the one suggestion um i tell a lot of busy people is because i know when we're little kids and we're playing outside and you're having the best time of your life 
you're not thinking about eating, you're not hungry, you're being, your soul's being fed by the creativity, by your friendships and everything. Well, the same thing goes for entrepreneurs. When they're like on a project they're in love with, and they're in there creating, they're not going to be hungry. They're not going to think about eating. They're not going to do that. So I guess we lost Allison for a second. You lost me? Oh, we got you back. Go ahead, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. You lost your I'm minute. Go gonna, I'm not going to tell somebody to go on a diet. But what I am going to do is tell them to put times in their schedule for eating. Because when they're working on that project, they're working on their website, they're working on, they're talking to customers and their soul's being fed. They're, they're happy because they're living in their passion, but they're not thinking about eating. So it's important to schedule your eating into your work schedule. So in the morning when you wake up, if you have a morning routine where you're meditating and you're writing your gratitude list and you're, and, and you're um, planning for your day, make sure you're planning for your food as well. Make sure you're having a good breakfast that's going to fuel you and not give you a sugar crash. Not, not that I'm against eating bagels for breakfast or having cereal for breakfast. But for me personally, that's, a sh that's like straight sugar into your body and you're going to crash and you're going to feel tired after a little while. So I would suggest proteins and fibers for breakfast, but make sure you schedule that into your schedule. And then make sure a few hours later you get a little snack of fruit or something with um, hummus or peanut butter or something to keep the fuel going. Because that, that, if you're eating little bits throughout the day and you're scheduling it and you're the type of person to stick to your schedule because you, you want to get your work done because you schedule yourself, that is the perfect way to do it. And I had to do that for a long time because I'm the type of person that um, once I'm doing something and once I'm in the, in the flow – I'll get lost, especially from when I'm writing my blog. I'll get lost and forget what time it is. And I won't even think about eating until after I'm done. And then all of a sudden I'm famished and I'm starving. And, oh, my God, I didn't eat. So it's important for people like me, people like you, to schedule it in, to make sure it's on your schedule. Because when you have lists, when, you're, when it's in your time management schedule, you're going to follow it. I agree with that 100%. I think scheduling it is very, very important. And, you know, do, I mean, there are curveballs thrown at you throughout the day. I, you know, most of the time I'm putting out fires. So when you're trying to put out fires, you know, you can't say, hold on to the fire, let everything get burnt out while I'm having my snack for 20 minutes. So that usually doesn't turn out, you know, that doesn't turn out good, especially if you're, you know, but I do see that. I mean, I don't strive to hit it 100%. But if I can get close to like 70, 80, 90% of the time, I think that's a success ratio. Yeah, sometimes maybe you, you know, you got to change diapers. You got to go change diapers. I mean, you know, hang on, wait. My daughter doesn't go based on my schedule. I go based on her schedule. Exactly. So it's a little bit of a different. But my as long are, as you're striving, trying to do that, that would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, my kids are so, older, so I don't have to change diapers, but little things happen. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I can't wait. Like, I want to speed up time. <laughs> No, you don't. For my daughter, but no, I don't want to speed up time for me. I don't want to get older. So I'm not like, I'm having this conflict internally. I'm like, can we get you like trained so you could do it? So I don't, anyway, for, that's a different conversation. Parents have issues that normal single people do not comprehend. They don't right. comprehend. They don't understand what that is. So no, they don't. Hey, and then when they'll, the, get, they'll get there. <laughs> and then when your kids get older, like I have a 22 year old, an 18 year old, and a 14 year old. And when they get older, it's different problems. I kind of wish the diapers were still there. <laughs> Allison, you look like 28. What are you talking about? Three kids. Did you adopt them? There's no way. You look like 29, maybe 30, maybe 30, pushing 30 max. Thanks. <laughs> it must be the, it must be the no, good I'm husband. Serious. Must my be kids are 22, husband. 18, and 14, and I contribute my youthful you. look to the way I eat and good the way you. I live. Good <laughs> One more minute. Mind, okay. body, evolution. What's up? Mind Body Evolution is a new project of mine. I um, collaborate with a woman named Jen Endicott from Endicott Coaching. She used to be a therapist, and now she does mindset coaching. And between her work and my work, we combined it. And we now have a podcast, and um, we're, on our, we're going to be recording our fourth episode tomorrow. And we have a program for people that are truly interested in making a change in their life where they work with both of us for three months. 
Awesome. Listen, if anybody's watching this video, go look up Allison. Go look up Allison. Give, give her, give her, give her a follow. Find out what's up. Mind, body, evolution. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy day. Talk to your husband. Tell him that he said I want to interview him. That interview is gonna happen no matter what. We're gonna need to get that done. <laughs> Don't make me go find him behind your back and then do an interview. Just tell him to come voluntarily. Tell him, hey, this is his Instagram. Just go message him. He wants to do an interview. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll see what that Thank you so much for being so with much. us. I appreciate your time. Thank you so Bye. much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.